Hey guys, it's me, Brad Fitzpatrick, and today we're going to be playing a demo for a game coming out called Chris Tales. Um, it touts to be a really Chrono Trigger heavy game, so I thought it would be really interesting. The game is supposed to come out sometime this year. Um, it doesn't have a release date yet, but the demo is out, so why don't we check it out? And yes, the music's probably really loud, so I apologize for that. Hopefully, I am louder. Oh! I'm trying to reach the town! This is a real fight, Chris Bell. Time to use your new skills! Be swift, be precise. First, select attack, and then choose your target. Ha-ha! Finally, just as the attack connects, press the button one more time to do a double slash. Oh, oh, oh! Be cautious. Watch for your oh. opponent's attack and press the button right when they hit you to block most of the damage. Alright. Nicely done. Now give it your all. Finish it off. Alright. Well done, Chris Bell, but I'm afraid our work is not done here. Nope. I like the art style. It's actually really interesting. It's almost watercolor, maybe? Is that the, the word that I was... Oh, now I gotta Who get Who are the you shield. supposed to be? Christopher and Chris Bell. Sounds like they are brother and sister to a well-to-do white family. <laughs> Hello, my name is... Tell me if we survive. You know how to fight? Let us show him. Uh, yep, we might as well... Oh, I didn't do it in enough time. Oh, okay, this is how you switch out. Okay, but it doesn't allow me to choose. Oh, okay. Interesting. I got water and fireball. Let's hit him with water. Not bad. I'm Christopher, by the way. Chris Bell. Oh, he doesn't have any skills yet. But yeah, he, he definitely does the most damage. Alright. Okay, I'm digging it. There. That's two less of them. Oh, wow. I've been chasing those things since I left St. Clarity. We've got to stop them before they reach town. And exactly how do you plan to do that? Hold your ground. They won't get past us. <laughs> Look, Volcano. They broke our poor goblins. How adorable. Can we keep them? No. Yeah, we've talked about this. No more pets until... Guys, stop murdering them. I know, I know. I just want to play. Not my fault they're all so squishy. Oh, and that's why we can't have nice things. Alright, still no skills. Okay, they're just one creature, so that should be okay. them he can oh, I guess not not even a scratch that's some heavy shield work right there amateurs we can't take much more of this you know, barely took any damage it is time use the crystals the crystals
And that's that's the end of that fight. So I guess now we're doing like a... Like a let's go back and find out what the crystals are. Oh yeah, I definitely like this art style. Definitely. I'm trying to move that out the way. Keep her waiting. Nope. She doesn't look like she's a happy type. Uh, L to move in the dying direction, A to interact with people, and just like any other game. Crisbell, finally. Mother Superior. Did you prune the roses yet? Sorry, Mother Superior. It's just my rose. He, the frog, it took it. Enough, enough. I've seen that look before. Find that rose, then hurry back. There's work to do and no time to waste. Go on. Yes, Mother Superior. Thank you, Mother Superior. And be careful. I worry about you. Alright, so I guess I gotta find this frog. I miss your grandma, Chris. And how it used to be around here. Oh, sorry about my grandma. I have to get my rose back. Oh, this is the inventory. But I can't... Oh, okay, I have to use... Directional pad. Weird. <laughs> to find a frog. If I pick every strawberry right now, maybe I won't have to do it ever again. That's never a good thing. So where, where could this frog be? It probably ran off, ran off. How to? Press Y to check your current objective. I have Okay, but where did the... Nobody's giving me any hints about where the frog went. Chris Bell, what... Good morning, Marco. Have you seen a little Thank yellow you. frog? A frog? Well, sure. Maybe wearing a top hat? Carrying a rose? A uh, top hat? Then no. Yeah, no, I mean, really. Maybe try the mayor's estate? There's always something going on there. I'll try. Thanks, Marco. Sorry to bother you. Are you kidding? That's the most interesting thing I'll hear all day. Yeah, it's kind of the most interesting I've heard. Okay, so the mayor's estate is not on here. So I guess we're going to go to the south of the main square. Check out the cool sticker we found. It's a skull. Ooh. Skull stickers. Mayor's estate is east. Why would someone do this? Apothecary Jew. Yeah, yeah, good morning. Carpenter Joe. I thought this was the mayor's estate. Or... Is this the mayor's estate? It said go east. Maybe I was going the wrong way. Maybe this is the mayor's estate. Yeah, I was going the wrong way. <laughs> He'll inherit this one day. Okay, so it has to be... Oh, jeez, that's a big guy. Think about the future. That's it's the not mayor. not just the farms that will be renovated. 
It's the orphanage, the shops, the whole town. Your future fouls the land, poisons the water. Goblin raiding parties are burning our fields. Money, power, your precious industry. That's all you care about now. How dare you? Where's your proof? Proof? Look around you. Look at our crops. Then sell your lands, Robert. Don't let it trouble you any longer. It's what's best for the town. It's best for someone, for but someone. not the town. You seem to be doing just fine. Now see here, I never... Mr. Mayor, we have a visitor. Hello, Crisbell. What do you want? Hello, Miss Lana. I was looking for a yellow frog with a top hat. Of course you were. Of course I was. Try the northern fields. That's where all the little pests go. Hmm. May the lady light your way, Crisbell. Too many in town have strayed from her grace. Oh, thank you. I should go. Hey, there he is. Come back, frog in a top hat. I can't remember. What the nor northern fields, I think, are over this way. If not, they're going to be completely south. Road to farmlands? No, yeah, maybe not. Maybe it is south. Oh, okay. So, yeah, maybe not. Maybe the farmlands is where I actually need to go. Okay, let's head over this way then. Oh, yeah, definitely love the artwork here. Hi, Polly. I don't know, Chris. Between the crops, the monsters, the weather, it never ends. I just saw your dad with the mayor. They seemed really angry. Again? I keep telling him to trust the mayor. We need his soldiers to protect us. But it's always, we give the lady our trust. Everyone else has to earn it. <sighs> Sorry, Chris. What's up? I'm looking for a little yellow frog. He was wearing a hat, a top hat. He took my rose. <laughs> a frog in a top hat? Only you, Chris Bell. I haven't seen it, but I'll keep my eyes open. <sighs> Thanks, Polly. Maybe I should pray to the lady about it. <laughs> you have been talking to my father. Well, if you're looking for a miracle, I suppose the cathedral's as good a place as any to try. There he is again. The cathedral. I wish there was like a, a faster run button. But there really isn't. Not yet, at least. His mother superior. Oh. -ho. Hey, there's my rose. The lady. She obviously likes flowers. She looks like you. What's happening? Who's doing this? Actually, you are. You have opened the crystals of time, Chris Bell. Uh oh. <gasps> what are. I mean, who. How do you know my name? So many questions. Matthias the Frog, at your service. I have been Ma keeping an eye on Matthias. you for some time now. I would have said Matthias, but I mean, I mean, hey, that's that's the direction they wanted to go, so Matthias. On me? Why? I suspected you had been chosen, my dear. It appears I was correct. Chosen? By whom? 
what are these crystals? Why me? More questions. The past and the future have revealed themselves to you. Come, see for yourself. I... I can't... I don't want this! Nothing to fear, child. You have much to learn about your powers. Powers? This is a curse! Why is this even happening? You're upset. Perfectly understandable. But I know someone who can help. He lives in a little hut down by the lake. Leave right. town? Mother Superior will worry. She would be very worried if she saw you like this. Is it another talking frog? Let's hope. And let's hope his name is Ferdinand. If only, but sadly no. Trust me, little one. Let us go immediately. Well, that's weird. Oh, it's so weird. Like, literally, the outside of the triangle is like either past or present or future. While the middle of, or maybe, maybe the left side is the past, the right side is the future, and we're in the present. Is this where we're supposed to go? Here we are. He lives just over there in that hut. Perhaps you should let me do the talking. I mean, a talking frog always needs to go first. Wilhelm, answer the door! <laughs> go away, I'm busy. Open the door, you pompous child! We have important business! Matthias? Huh. Idiot frog. That's funny. You're a child! Manners. You're speaking to a revered time mage. Now, who might you be? Crispel. Um, sir? Crispel has opened both crystals of time! Ridiculous! Impossible! Why, not even I've been able to... Yet, it has happened. Yet, it has happened. No. No, no. No. There's something else at work here. Can someone please tell me what's going on? Patience. I am Wilhelm the Wise. You, it seems, are a time mage. As am I. I don't know about that. And while my powers have led to my... youthful appearance, yours are the gift to see possibility. Possibility? I thought it was the future! Incorrect. It is a possible future. That's true. Perhaps a practical demonstration will help. Take this seed and plant it over there. Okay. Okay. Go here. Okay. Tell me, what do you see in the future? A tree! It's growing from the seed I planted! Exactly! A glow fruit tree to be specific. But take care, it will only grow if you care for it. Otherwise, it will wither and die. Yep. So, if I do something in the present, I can affect the future? Obviously. Has that not always been the case? Nope. Now, however, you have the ability to see these future possibilities. So choose your actions accordingly. Okay. I should use this to check up on Mother Superior and my sisters. They'll be wondering where I've gone. Thank you, Wilhelm. Yes, yes. Go to your sisters. You've given me much to ponder, young mage. That's interesting. Oh, and he's like... Outside of time, he's kind of just that. And 
is so interesting. Oh, a mana potion has been added to my bag. That is a very, very, you know, intriguing sort of take on on this. Um, this sort of game. I mean, this art style is fantastic to begin with, but I don't know. Like, it's just okay. But you're obviously not using the crystals outside of towns or anything like that. So, but like, you can't see what's going to happen. Healing. These are just possible futures. Yeah, like, like the left side is the past, the right side is the future. Interesting, and it makes me want to see everybody's, but it won't let me see everybody's. So in the future, Marco is is that she is a different person in the past. She's an older, a young lady in the past. That's really, I really like that. I think that the, it's so, I, I don't know, in, ooh, intriguing. So this is the supposed future. No, how could this happen? Matthias, what? Everything's turned dark. Crisbell, you had me worried. Mother Superior, you're okay. The orphanage is still here. Well, of course. What's got you so excited, child? Did something happen? I mean, not yet. I went to get my rose, then Matthias showed me how I could... Matthias? Yes, he... He was just here. I need to find him. At least give me the rose you spent all morning looking for. I mean, yeah. Yes, Mother Superior. Now go find your friend. And don't take all day. You still have to prune these roses. He was... Like, literally, just, just here. But who is that? Who is the new other superior? There's no other kids here. Let's see, is there a past? Yeah, that's her in the past. A young mother superior. So many chores. The kids in town get to go out and play. Alright, where is... Yes, now. These just bloomed yesterday. If I take extra care of them today, they'll be even prettier tomorrow. Yep. Alright, any, any idea where you are, frog? You up and left again? Matthias? Matthias? I thought it best not to upset your mother superior with the appearance of a talking frog. Huh. Hmm? Oh. Crisbell, I'm sorry if I upset you by leaving. No, I mean, yes, but it's the orphanage. I saw its future. Abandoned. Empty. How could that happen? I don't know, but let's look around town. Perhaps your new powers can shed light on this. I guess let's go to the farmlands first. We obviously see that there are no... Um, there is no nothing in the farmlands. There's no wheat. Ah, she looks cute. Nothing in the farmlands. So let's more than likely we have to go down and, and see the mayor. Oh, okay. The Miller's house and the apothecary shop, they've been destroyed. Yes, quite unfortunate. Quite, quite unfortunate. Unfortunate? The Millers are homeless. 
Without the apothecary, the town has no medicine! Only in the future, and only if you let it happen. If I let it happen? But... No, you're right. Why would someone... Um, excuse me, I think your shop has rot problems. I don't have time to worry about that right now. If you want to talk rot, talk to the carpenter over to the west. Yeah, yeah, good morning, I guess. Can you help me? There's a problem with the houses. Yep. A problem? Great. What did you see, girl? They're rotting away from the inside. In a few years, there won't be anything left. You saw rot on the inside? From the outside? Neat trick. Sounds like someone's been telling you stories about Ash Blight. Happened back when I was a kid. Well, We'd lost most of the town if the old apothecary hadn't brewed up a batch of green leaf tonic. Can you make some? Do I look like an apothecary? Go ask June. She's the one who knows about this stuff. Charming fellow. Off to the apothecaries. He did. He gone in the future. He looked more proud in the past, though. Why would someone do this? This will take forever to sort out. Excuse me, I was wondering if you could help me. You and half the town? No! No, I can't. Someone tore the labels off of my mushrooms. Ugh. That sounds bad. Very bad. Bad? It's... Terrible. One of these is red button. Good for digestion. Great on a salad. Mushrooms are fantastic. Everywhere. One of them is ground death cap. Even the tiniest bit could be deadly. An important distinction, wouldn't you agree? Unless you have... enemies. <laughs> of course, with no labels, it's impossible to tell them apart. Can't you just throw them out and make some more? Sure, of course. It would take weeks to find the mushrooms, days to prepare them. I don't have time to redo it all. <sighs> My father used to do all of that. He bottled and labeled them years ago. I'm sorry. I wish I could help. Me too. It'd be nice to have help around here. Since Dad died, though... I try to keep everything the way he left it, but there are only so many hours in the day. Sorry, I've got to get back to work. No wonder she's upset. They all look alike. I suppose they do. Let me try something. If we didn't know we could look into the past. Uh, I can't see them in the past at all. Aw, oh, damn it. <laughs> Allow me. Press X to prepare a time hop, and then press L to make Matthias hop to the past. Oh, only he can go to the... he's a tadpole. Just that little nudge! Ho ho ho! Ah, there. Well, this one has a skull on it. I imagine this is the death cap. Could very well be. That sticker! I saw it today! Some kids were playing with one! Oh. Chris, you took that from June's. Do you know what you've done? It's only a sticker. No, it's not only a sticker. You can't just take things from stores. Especially not the apothecary. Some of her ingredients could be dangerous. Sorry, Chris. Alright. 
This is as much proof as we are likely to get. Miss June, we found your label. It goes on the bottle with the red lid. Where did you find it? Some kids took it. They just thought it was a cool skull sticker. I don't think they meant any harm. Dang kids. Of course they didn't. What's done is done. I'll talk to their parents about this later. Thank you, Chris Bell. I really appreciate all you've done. This might be a good time to ask her about the tonic. Chris Bell, was there something you needed? Yes. Do you know how to make green leaf tonic? Of course. Unfortunately, I don't have any glow fruit in stock. It's very rare oh. and it doesn't keep. Not many uses for it, but it's essential for green leaf tonic. I know where to get there some. Any glow fruit near Nareen? Maybe I can find some. I wouldn't get your hopes up, but ask Magda by the cathedral. She knows the plants in the area. You might get lucky. I mean, I could just go back to that one area and then go to the past. Go to the future. Good morning, Mrs. Magda. Do you know if there's any glow fruit growing nearby? Miss June thought you might. They used to grow by the lake, but I haven't seen one in ages. The seed you planted for Wilhelm. It was glow fruit. I'm sorry. Yeah, dear. I just said that. If you find one, let me know. They're beautiful, glowing purple and orange. And they only bloom every ten years or so. Really lovely. Thank you, Mrs. Magda. That's just what I need. I wanted to get back to some more combat, but we may not be able to do that. There's the tree I planted, but the fruit is going to take forever to grow. Then perhaps we should skip ahead. Or rather, I will. Yep. Okay. Ah, oh, he's a big fat... Fat thick frog. Oh my god. Here it is! Now to bring it back to Crisbell. Much though. It will have to do. Let us go see the apothecary. Ah, oh, he looks so cute in the future. I think he looks cuter in the future than he does in the past. Tadpoles are kind of cute, but as a, as a super thick, fluffy boy frog, that's cute. I have glow. That will do. Give me just a minute. Here you go. There's enough only for one dose, but it's free of charge. Thank you. Alright. Well, I finally have the green leaf tonic. I thought you'd be happier. What is it, Chris Bell? I don't know what to do with it. There's only enough to fix one house. <coughs> what can I do? Ah, yes. Even with the crystals, there's only so much you can do to help. It appears you must make a decision. <laughs> How, Matthias? No matter what I choose, one of the houses will be ruined! You are a time mage, Chris Bell. Decisions such as this, they will not be uncommon. That's interesting, I like that aspect. Okay, yep. So I don't know. Like, honestly, the apothecary seems to be more... Um, needs to be needed more. Chris Bell, what can I do for you, dear? Because I need medicine. It has an ash blight infection. Ash blight? Why would you think that? I overheard the carpenter talking. He thinks a number of buildings could be affected. How awful. I remember my father telling me stories about ash blight. He said it came from a spore that grew near the farms. That it spread on the wind after the big fires. Oh. Well, no time to waste. We don't have much green leaf tonic, but perhaps I can find another solution. Maybe. Thank you again, Chris Bell. You're welcome, June. I'm glad I was able to help someone.
So yes, one house is destroyed, but still. Prisma, look! Do you see how your actions have affected the future? I suppose. As all actions do. But what about the Millers? Where will they live? One problem at a time, little one. Remember, most of the town remains unchanged. And we're no closer to finding out what happens to the orphanage. We have more immediate issues to deal with. Look! Smoke! The farms are on fire. That's what brought Ashblight to Nareem the last time. We've got to go. Crispell, wait! Got I mean, we gotta help out. Oh wow, yeah, everything's. It can't be too late. It can't be. Crispell, get out of here! It's goblins. They've torched the fields. How dare they! Run, girl. There's nothing you can do here. I can help. Just let me. Don't be foolish. Let the soldiers do their work, and pray that they're up to the task. He's right, Crispell. The crystals won't be enough. Quickly, we must see Wilhelm again! Alright, off to see the Time Mage. Maybe he's got something for us. Back again? What is it now, Time Mage? Goblins are attacking the farms. We've got to do something. Matthias said you could help. Did he? He's right, I suppose. With your talent, and my training, perhaps in a few years. Years? The goblins are attacking now! But remember, we're a time mage. Patience. You're a time mage. Try to act like one. Hmm. There's always the sword. There's always the sword. Ridiculous! The sword is much too powerful for a novice! The strain would be too much! Enough! You asked for my help, Frog. The sword is the answer. If the girl is everything you believe, she may well survive. It doesn't matter. I'll do it! Very well. This should be interesting. Alright. Honestly, I think the aesthetic on the sword could be a little bit different. You've done it. But it is pretty nice. Like more and more interesting. If she is a time mage, the sword, since it's a time mage sword, should have a clock on it. Obviously, right? Am I missing the point? The sword. So much power. I can feel it moving through me. And just in time. Quickly, Chris Bell, the goblins! But Mother Superior, my friends, I have to protect them! Go. I'll look after them. Meet us at the cathedral. We'll be safe there. Now go! Thank you, Wilhelm. Bam! Now we're back to where we started. They're trying to reach the town! This is a real fight, Chris Bell. Talk with the sword enhancing your powers. You should now be able to send your enemies to either the future or the past. Give it a try! Oh, right. Invoke Future Crystal! Huh. Okay, well there's the Future Crystal. And he's withered his regular attack, so all he can do is magic. Okay. You think a future guy would like lose a lot of his HP too? I know I hit that button. There we go. Oh, I'm actually gaining experience now. And here comes this person. Who are you supposed to be? Hello, my name is. Tell me if we survive. Slim you know Shady. How to fight? Let us show him. Oh, okay, so that will do... That's the past. Alright, um... 
course, we're gonna go ahead and use skill. Not bad. I'm Christopher, by the way. Chris Bell. Well, that's that's interesting. Okay. Now we're back to the boss. There. That's two less of them. Been chasing those things since I left St. Clarity. We've got to stop them before they reach town. And exactly how do you plan to do that? Hold your ground. They won't get past us. <laughs> Look, Volcano. They broke our poor goblins. How adorable. Can we keep them? Gally, we've talked about this. No more pets until... Until when? Until I stop murdering them. I know, I know. Crazed sociopath. I just want to play. Not my fault they're all so squishy. Yeah. <laughs> and that's why we can't have nice things. What's this? I feel stronger. <laughs> Big mistake! Don't let your guard down. I don't trust this. <laughs> Are you kidding? Time to have fun! Time to finish. <laughs> this is impossible! We're missing something. I'll bring them back to the present. Amateurs. Okay. Perfect. Now to open the future crystal. All right. So what did that do? How clever! Oh. Okay. This again. Have it your way. Careful. They did something to our shield. Some stupid rust. <laughs> Who cares? Okay. That's an interesting concept. I kind of like that. Yeah, that's doing much more damage. A lot more damage. Oh, I didn't realize he hit me twice. How dare you. Of course I'm gonna use fire. Turn up the heat! Nice, okay, I'm getting the timing down on that. Um, I am gonna have to go ahead and use a healing potion regardless because, yeah, I've, I've, I've had to wait to learn the timing on that. Oh, I missed that one though. Nice! 114 damage! Stupid little! We're leaving! Oh, why? But I want to... Enough! The Empress will want to hear of this. Go! Ah, oh, fine! Crispo? 
Is that you? You did it! We can't thank you enough! Anton, now do you see? Look what you've done. What I've done? You think I brought these monsters to Narim? Yes. I know this was your way of getting the farm. You wanted this land for your industrialization project. This was all you. Wow, the pronunciation of that word that he just used. Ow. Okay. Everything I do is for the future of Narim. For your daughter's future. I would never put anyone at risk. But you did. Mayor Anton, if I may divert our focus. This was clearly set up by an unknown party. And on that topic, tell me, Crisbell, where did you get that strange sword? She's in on it. Miss Lana, this was a gift from Mr. Wilhelm and Matthias. Oh? And who are these strangers you seem to know so well? What do they want with Nareem? Is it possible? Did they set this up? And are you part of their scheme? Miss Lana, no! We were just trying to help! Enough! Guards, seize her and the shielded fellow! We'll lock them up until we can extract a confession! We have to go, now! To the cathedral. Wilhelm said he'd meet us there. Yeah, I think Lana's in on it. You made it! I knew you'd be able to wield that sword! Well done. And, as promised, your friends are all here. In fact, your mother's superior. Crisbell, is that you? Thank the lady! Mother superior, I'm so sorry! Oh, shh, dear. Your interesting new friend here has told us a great deal already. I won't claim to understand all of this, but you're safe. That's all that matters. Safe? Dope. Maybe for now. The Empress won't stop with Nareem. The Empress? The Empress of Time. A formidable foe and far beyond our current capabilities. Oof. And those idiots in town are too busy pointing fingers to see who saved their worthless skins. Always. Run from her if you want. I'll go myself if I... Enough! Don't be stupid, boy. You'll need all the help you can get. Which means, I suppose, that I'll be going as well. Ooh, going. nice. I can't leave! The orphanage! My family! No harm will come to your sisters, dear. Not while I live. That must mean that she's a capable fighter. But Mother Superior, it's not just that. Matthias, tell them! Matthias? Where did he go? He's slippery, that one. Even for a frog. He'll turn up soon. Count on it. The soldiers will be here soon. Quickly, girl! I... fine. I'll go. But I'll return, I promise. You better. Those roses still need pruning. Don't think I've forgotten. Now, get moving. Merciful lady, watch over my Crisbell. Guide her, shield her, comfort her, for she has a long road ahead. And when she is finished, oh great lady, take her gently in your arms and bear her home. Be safe, dear girl. And that is the end of the demo. Guys, that was pretty good. I liked it. I thought it was really interesting. The um, uh, the graphics were fantastic. Honestly, I really, really enjoyed that. Um, hopefully, we'll actually see this game sometime this year. Uh, but who knows? Um, I did like the aspect of the crystals. The you know the past, present, future sort of aspect. Um, if this game comes out, I may actually play this. You know, we'll, we'll see when that happens. So, you know, until then, guys, until we get to play our next game together, always remember to be kind to each other. I'll see you in the next video.